What's up everyone? Welcome back to an episode of Hack Droid, and today we're going to be talking about an ICO initial coin offering in particular called BAT, which is Basic Attention Token. It's a new company based here actually in San Francisco, created by the guy who made JavaScript the programming language, and it is overwhelmingly cool. And let's just dive right into it. The reason that I named this video 35 million in 30 seconds is because BAT opened an ICO last month and they raised $35 million from all over the world in under 30 seconds. So you can't even write a check that fast. And that set the kind of bar extremely high <laughs> for, for all ICOs and all cryptocurrencies. BAT, or Basic Attention Token, was created by Brandon Ike. He invented JavaScript, which is a programming language that's used all over the world now. He also worked on Mozilla and Firefox and that, that project. He founded, co-founded that, which is a huge deal from someone coming out of the woodwork who's done such amazing things for technology and talking about his new project, which is Brave. BAT is kind of like the umbrella uh, company that is uh, over the top of Brave browsers. So Brave basically allows advertisers, users, and publishers to interact using a token, or BAT. And BAT is a way where people can charge for their content Advertisers are able to see and monitor what ads are working, where they're actually being shown. A New York Times article came out that said that on average $23 a month, you and me and the average person are paying for these, these advertisements or we're paying for the data to support these advertisements in our current browser. It's decentralized, so it's effectively starting from scratch, which I think is pretty cool. Kind of like setting the reset button on all these ad blockers and um, you know different malvertising fraud and all these different buzzwords and all these different things that advertisers are doing to try and get in front of you in the browser. I think overall the coolest feature to the Braid browser uh, is that they're using the ledger on Ethereum and, and blockchain to really just monitor where users are and anonymously. So the ledger allows them to, to monitor where people are looking and where they're reading on publishers' content. And in turn, they're able to give the publishers back and these tokens and, and, and allow them to increase their revenue. And then the, the concept behind readers and the users that are able to donate to publishers also increases revenue. So it's really, really incentivizing creators and publishers from all over the world to, to dive into Brave Browser and allow users and advertisers from all over the world to, you know, for the advertisers anonymously track where users are looking and, and advertise accordingly and pay the publisher. And also they're able to have people donate to them in, in BAT. And now that BAT is on the exchanges, uh, it's open on Bittrex, and a couple of other exchanges, I believe. I should probably look that up, uh, but I'll put a link below to BAT and you can see where, where to start buying it and trading it. Uh, but overall, it's, it's gonna be up and down uh, throughout the next you know, few months just because their, their ICO went live uh, a while ago and I've seen it kind of trending a little bit, just evening out. Um, and this is definitely kind of a long-term play, so uh, I would, you know, definitely recommend doing more research, checking out the Bitcoin Talk forum about it, and you know, watching their their website because it's in stages and Brave is new. They're still you know working on it, and I'd recommend just just monitoring it. But regardless, thirty five million dollars in under thirty seconds is huge, and uh, that's just an epic win for the space. And I'm really excited to see where it goes, uh, especially for publishers. Uh, being able to, to make more money on something like Brave uh, Brave's browser, and um, I really I really just like the, that concept, and I can get behind something like that. That does it for this episode, uh, talking about BAT and how it's going to be helping the publishers all over the world, and decentralizing ad exchanges and 
um, really just bringing the power back to the the beginning of the internet you know where people were able to make money off of their uh, their their content like really really quickly and through their their, their following on online but that does it. Um, if you guys enjoyed this episode, smash the like button. If you're new here, think about subscribing. We're gonna start doing more conversations uh, openly about ICOs and upcoming ones, exciting ones, ones that I've personally invested in and ones that I can recommend to you guys. And you know, we can really just learn a lot about the space and it's an exciting time uh, over the next couple of years. So subscribe and I will see you guys again on the next episode.